On June 4th, 2014, a Ukrainian military transport aircraft was en route to Luhansk airport. 49 people were on board, including both paratroopers and the crew of the plane. The plane was shot down by an IGLA anti-aircraft missile system while it was approaching the landing strip. There were no survivors. Russian mercenaries were involved in the downing of the plane. They are part of Wagner Group, a Kremlin-controlled private military company led by a Russian officer named Dmitry Utkin. They made their debut as little green men in the takeover of Crimea and played an important role in the Russian capture of Luhansk airport. The second group has already left. Now they'll shoot it down. They came from Krasnoy. We were never there, and now we will. Comrade Major, two planes incoming, one shot down, the second landed. More than 200 Wagner mercenaries took part in the Battle of Debaltseva in February 2015, one of the largest and fiercest battles of the war. The company suffered 21 casualties there. I'm already confused about what I have and what I don't have. You have 66 wounded. I got this information from Claw. Are you shooting the artillery? Stop for now. Didn't sleep for 24 hours. Pick me up soon too, or I'll be shot. In total, Wagner's total strength is estimated to be about 5,000 mercenaries. At the core of the company are Russian veterans, often with criminal backgrounds, and Serbs who are connected to war crimes in the Yugoslav wars. People have military training and criminal past are selected. And this does not mean small-scale embezzlement, but grave crimes. Let's discuss established facts. Baikin Rashad Mohamed Alejevich, born in 1981, 1st Division, 1st Platoon, Intelligence Officer, was tried for rape. Wagner Group is also called Putin's Private Army, a military unit that is officially kept as a private company registered in Argentina for plausible deniability. Dmitry Ukin himself has occasionally been spotted at the Kremlin at Putin's side. The primary focus of the Wagner Group has shifted away from Ukraine. They're now more heavily involved in Syria, along with other mercenary groups and Russian regular forces.